This is Comic Geek Speak, World of Toys, episode 25, our first video episode. <laughs> And here comes the cowbell, <laughs> and welcome to the show, I'm Brian Crispin. I'm Shane Kelly. And this is our first video episode <laughs> of World of Toys. Uh, welcome to... <laughs> Just doing a little playing around here in the studio. Yeah. Uh, we, and that we have video equipment in the studio, we thought, why not do... And so we did so many toy episodes where... Sometimes we would actually unbox a few things. It's yeah, like, yeah. well, it doesn't do very well in just a podcast audio only. So but you could hear it. Well, sure, you could hear it. You could use your imagination. <laughs> but for our 25th episode, we said, well, let's use the studio equipment, and we're going to do a little video podcast about opening a couple of toys. Yeah. Because uh, I guess the last episode we did of Toys, well, of Toys was the Holiday Hot List of 2014. That is correct. So it's been about six months, maybe even longer. Yeah. So we're just going to see how this goes. We might do more of these. Just a little trial out here, a little trial and error. So we'll start with uh, Shane. You brought a little. I brought. Uh, and we'll switch to the close up cam here. A little Lego um, that came out for the Lego movie. This is one of the more recent releases. Um, what I what I love about this is two things. It's inexpensive, it was $9.99. Okay. Which is great um, because it also features Batman from the Lego movie mm -hmm. in the set. Um, because the only other way to get Batman was from a large i think it was the police police ship from the lego movie okay and it was like 75 or 80 dollars oh, yeah and uh, me with legos i like to get the batman centric ones mm -hmm. but i wasn't too keen on spending 75 dollars for a big one that i never intend to put together and just kind of wanted because of batman but okay. this kind of took care of that so all right 9.99 well, uh, i was sold let's crack this boy open then now Get we're right not gonna here. we're not gonna put together everything we're not no that oh boo too maybe we will later and i'll i'll post yeah, it. it looks kind of um, yeah time consuming here but i want to see it should be like that when the cooking show when the cooking shows it's they, all prepared you know they make a meal and they pull out from underneath oh here's a prepared yeah. meal yeah. for you yeah. there. i didn't have enough to buy two <laughs> <laughs> all right so i see is that his head well this is his head okay and there's his body and the cow which is always good. Oh, and you see, that's stupid because it's in two separate bags. <laughs> oh, jeez. Maybe three. You bugger. Where's the cape? There's the cape. <laughs> I do like how Lego puts the cape in these little boxes mm. so that they don't get damaged. Excellent. I always think that's a good idea. Let's see. That's the bad guy. That's a gun. Where's his feet? <laughs> this is going exactly as There's we play. Jeez. Um, <laughs> nothing against Lego. They do pack their stuff really well. Here's the bat cape. Now, some of the newer ones have um, an actual cloth cape. The newer Justice League releases mm -hmm. from this last year, they have a um, very soft, very cloth cape. I prefer these older, stiffer kind of ones. Okay. It, um, oh, okay. It, I am the knight. Yeah, it just makes it stick I out am. a little bit more. I, I don't know. The cloth ones just don't <laughs> seem quite right to me the, these are the, all the capes i've ever known of lego so to have something mm -hmm. different seems a little bit off um batman comes with <laughs> it's funny how they do the paint scheme because he has a little dark part there so that when you put the cowl on it shows through oh. like the eyes. <laughs> <Okay>. but <laughs> he has the regular face underneath there and then there's a, a happy-go-lucky batman oh which really was only in the lego movie right well that's what this is set from it's from the lego movie absolutely right so there you go. That's uh, I wanted to bring something oh, in to open up. That, who did the voice for that again? Will Arnett. Oh, that's right. Yep. <laughs> Darkness, no parents. Kind of makes it better. <laughs> I love. I thought they did a great job with the Lego movie. So I was excited. But there you go. Lego Batman. The rest of the set is um. Super Angry Kitty, which kind of fits my personality at times, so that's not going to hurt anything. <laughs> uh, little bad guy, robot skeleton dude, and um, a micromanager that Lord Business used to uh, trap everybody. So okay. I'll put those together and maybe post a picture or something about okay, it. Okay, yeah. So, but uh, the real reason we uh, wanted to do this episode here is um, back around, actually down the holiday season last year, uh, there was a sale at the toy store. I think I might mention it on the regular CGS yeah, podcast. Yeah, I think you did. That uh, I broke down. I wasn't buying very many toys, 
but these are on sale. Like, if I'm going to half off, there are discounts, coupons. I, so I, I bought, broke down and bought the Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Marvel Legends and Infinite series. So I got all of the figures here. We've got Gamora. We've got Drax, Star Lord, Rocket Raccoon, Nova, and where's Iron? Oh, Iron Man fell down to the floor here, and Iron Man. So we're gonna open them up and then put the build a figure together for Groot. Groot. So let's get this started Does here. Does Rocket come with a baby Groot? No, he doesn't. Okay, just wondering. Oh, no. So we have here our our Twister Blade in case so change. You can just open them up and have no fear. I mean, let's get, get rid of the packaging here at some point. Do, do. Okay, so I'm opening up. I want to open Rocket Raccoon first. I wanted to open Nova because I uh, hem and hauled about buying this figure and never did. Okay. Uh, which is fine because Lord knows I need another figure like a hole in the head. Yeah. But I always thought Nova was cool. Oh, nice. And I never saw because I didn't open this. There's a, a checklist in here for Marvel Edge. This is the it says snap group figure together at as shown. Okay, well, yeah, let's just start taking the part here. I don't need this packaging. All right, so we have here, this is Groot's head and upper torso. I have it. Who are you open? Nova, you said there? Nova. Okay. And I have his right, Groot's right arm. Boy, oh boy. I feel a little bit rubberier, rubberier than what I remember them. So let's see, this is Rocket here, I guess he's got... His over-exaggerated guns. Oh my god, is that what... How does this go together here? Well, that's the Hadron Enforcer from the movie, which usually they would hold... I think it would go something like this, over top of him. But how that shoots anybody, I don't know. Maybe it comes out of there. Oh, the Hadron well, Collider. Sure that's a figure closer. <laughs> Do, hmm. do. I would say, where's his little arm bend? That if you get, if if Rocket's going to hold it, it would have to go something like that. Okay. And then where's his gun going to go? Well, that would be his just single gun that okay. he would hold. I think the way it looks to me, because it's the one in the beginning of the movie um, when he's trying to capture Star Lord. Oh, okay. And it comes out and. And then he shoots it, knocks yeah. them over, they all get captured. Because the figures are based on the movie versus right. the comic book. Right. All right. Now, Nova's hand, I mean, Rocket's hands are really, really small. All right. Go ahead. Oh, so this is... His torso and head. No, I've never put these together. Oh, really? Oh. No, I mean, I, I can do it, but, okay. I mean, is it a matter of just... You just push, okay. and it usually, sometimes you get a click. Oh. And well, then it's in. All right. So we have his torso... And I guess his his right hand, his, his right arm so far. Okay, that is correct. And we've got Rocket and Nova. Let me take a look at Nova. I love this metallic, the metallic blue paint on that. I just really like how that looks. Da -da -da. And the little um. And now this, I guess, is more of a comic book Nova than actual I think movie so. Nova. Yeah. Because I didn't notice the first time I saw the movie, um, I didn't notice helmets on any of the Nova Corps. I didn't think so either. But later, when I went back and watched it, you do see some. Oh, okay. Um, but they're kind of in the background. All the main people. I wish we had stand to have these guys stand up. Yeah, I know. All the main Nova people um, that talk in the movie, they don't have helmets on. You gotta get them on camera there, Shane. You're feeling the purpose here. <laughs> stand, you bugger. I love the articulation in all these figures. However, sometimes they are a bugger to get standing. Yeah. All right, so. Let's see. Up next, I'm going to open up uh, Gamora. And I shall do Star Lord. There we go. Try to get it on the camera here, Shane. That's what we have it here for. Now, my older boy, Ben, so got a, a Star Lord box. for Christmas. And he comes with a bunch of accessories. Okay. Star Lord's decked out in his trench coat and his knapsack, not man purse, not purse, okay. knapsack. 
He comes with two pistols, which he has in the movie as well. He's, he stands pretty good from what I remember Ben setting his up. No, I, I don't, I don't see anything trouble. else with Gamora here. It doesn't, doesn't... You would think she would have a blade or something because yeah. she fights with uh, a couple things. But uh, now there is Zoe also... Zoe Saldana, the actress, in pretty good likeness. Uh, oh, the... Um... Yeah, what's it called? Well, the that's... Infinity Gem. Yeah. I forget which one, it, which uh, what they actually call that. It... Uh, uh, Star Lord also comes with headphones. Oh, there he goes! Down he goes! Then down goes Star Lord. <laughs> and a mini Walkman. Because <laughs> in the movie they play a big part. Um, let's see. Oh, his guns fell out and everything. Boy, oh boy! Star Lord, well, you're losing see. your head. You opened up his left so his, arm. But no, I opened up his Gamora. This is Gamora. This is a left. Ooh, we have to get the torso. Yeah, we can't go. <laughs> They don't have a torso yet. Oh. There's an alternate head, too. Oh, which, nice. Which um, Ben had put that on for a while and had the headphones on. I prefer the mask. Okay. There well, is this the is other his right arm. arm here. All right. Is, it, is that in? It should be. Nope. Oh. I thought I heard a click. Yeah. I am Groot. I am Groot. Hey, hey, hey. Lots of detail. Yeah. Let me take a even closer look at Star Even some here. of the little um, branch spines at the joints. Nice. That's a really good... Of course, I mean, it, it's um, computer-generated the movie, yeah, so of yeah. course, probably use that um, for the figure. And everything's soft plastic, so it's not going to break really easily. And okay. if kids are playing with it, it's not going to poke or hurt or anything. I mean, okay. I, I always like that about take a look any of these figures. It's nice. Star-Lord's probably my favorite one out of the bunch okay. of these. All right, so Go next ahead. you've got uh, the Iron Man. Which this... Based off a comic. The comic, the newer Guardians of the Galaxy series when right. it started had Iron Man in this kind of mm -hmm. a space suit. Um, joining and them. And then I'm going to open up Drax. Ooh, what, what is this? That's some With of all that's Gamora's sword. Oh! Well, there you go. I must have somehow missed that when I opened up the package in my fervor to get it opened. Which, that's easy to do. I can remember opening yeah. the Palisades kitchen and having a heck of a time with all those accessories that came in that. I just put that on the floor, Shane. You put it anywhere. <laughs> I did. I'll clean up later. I'm a good cleaner-upper. Now, I have one of the legs with the right leg. I did oh, the torso. That's the one next. Oh, look. This is Drax. Oh, the swords. Swords seem to... Oh, they can come out of his hand there. Um... The, the facial likeness isn't, isn't uh, the best. Oh, help me out. I'm forgetting his name. Oh. Batista. Batista. Yeah, Chris, Chris Batista? No, right? <laughs> He's a comic book artist. <laughs> Just Batista the wrestler. Ugh. Iron Man in his outer space armor. Again, these shoulder pauldrons or pads, whatever, however you want to call them, um, they're a little bit harder than the branches on Groot, um, but they... They pivot a little bit. Oh, nice. As you would move his arms up and down. So that's a nice little feature to them. Still a little bit softer that they, well, they might break a little bit easier than some of the other stuff in this series. Right. And with so much articulation, I always am weary the first time I move joints. You know, as, as these things get put in their packaging, um, they're set in a certain way. They're stiff. The paint might not be 100% dry. The plastic might mm -hmm. not be 100% set. Um, I'm always ginger with moving them because I've broken a couple with okay. this, all the these figures with all this articulation. One thing I did find, and this goes back to the old Palisades forum days, um, where some of the figures would have trouble moving a joint. Uh, put it in some boiling water for just a few seconds, and then it would pop out. It loosens the plastic. I would move the joint, and then it would cool off, and it would kind of be fine. It would break whatever was sticking 
to it, the paint or whatever, but it never actually broke the figure. So mm -hmm. I always had great success with that. I wouldn't keep it in long, especially with some of the newer plastics. They might be real soft, and you could melt it in a way that wouldn't be so good for bouncing back. Okay. But I think if it's just a couple a couple seconds to loosen a joint to move it, um, I, again, I always had great success with that. Cool. So. All right. Go back to the close-up cam here as I have Groot's and his torso. I guess it doesn't really matter which way I put this in because it, um, it can spin around, right? Yeah, usually. So. I always found the torso to be one of the harder pieces yeah. because heard, of that articulation. Mm -hmm. It's probably well, that way. Is there a picture? Does it look Because good? this would be, no offense, but that would be his butt. Oh, that's, oh, okay. And this would be the front as the joints go in for the legs. Okay. All right, I am Groot. Are they both, you know, which well, leg there, is, there is... This looks to be the left leg. Yep, and this one's probably the right. Okay. Well, let's put it in here. Mm, that snapped literally into place here. I like when they do that. The, the very first um, DC one, which was Metamorpho, one of the arms did not do that, and mine actually broke. I contacted them. They were very cordial about it. I couldn't get a new piece, but they gave me some credit for a new figure. But... Um, yeah, if it doesn't snap in just so and nice, sometimes it can can be a problem. And I don't know people who play with toys and, and do this often. Well, you, you tell me, is that, is that, that in okay, you think? Let's see. Yeah, I would say so. All right. So we have Groot. And on Groot, there's ankle joints to move the foot side to side, which is kind of nice because setting them up could be difficult depending on how you're doing it each knee joint bends and turns um, what it looks like here at the knee can be a little bit in the way this little tiny notch here which gives it that extra branchy look mm -hmm. um, but as you try to turn it if you're trying to do it straight it's going to have to be a bent knee to turn it um, while it's made of a softer plastic that could rub off or break i would think um, the hips where the where the thighs connect to the torso split they move up and back they turn twist there's a lot of articulation there you have the the chest up and down movement and side to side which is good the head moves all kinds of rotations around so you hey i am Groot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well he's not yoda he's Groot. i, I, I went into yoda <laughs> um each hand let's see each arm has shoulder joints that go up and down at the shoulder and can rotate as well as at the bicep rotate sometimes to me that's an extra piece of articulation that's not really needed because you already have it at the shoulders but then to rotate the bicep that just doesn't make much sense to me. Mm -hmm. but it is nice that it's there the elbow is fully movable which is good uh, the wrist turns as well as up and down um, just like your regular wrist would so they do a nice job with all this articulation um, I always find this on any figure like this. These bicep joints right here where the shoulder meets the bicep, mm -hmm. they always, always to me seem a little bit looser than any other joint. I don't know why. Most Build-A-Figures, Collect and Connect, whatever you, whatever series you have and are calling them, um, when you want to put it down, if you want to move the arm down in a position, you almost have to really be careful and do it from the shoulder down rather than just push on the arm at the bicep because again it seems looser and a little bit more fragile there um and I, again i've already broken one or two like that <laughs> and been able to get them to to fix where i display them and they look fine but it it's a point that you got to be careful of when trying to put these together excellent you might hear the snap a, a lot of them do i love when i hear the snap of the joint going in because it, mm -hmm. that just makes me feel better that it's going in right but if you don't that might be okay. It just might not do that. If it's in pretty securely, just carefully try to bend or do whatever you're doing the, the first time. You know, when, once you have it for a while and it, and it goes around, it might be fine. Oh, that's but. very cool. Can we get everybody lined up somehow? Maybe to yeah. give our group shot? <laughs> okay. Oh, Rocket, you bugger. Is your tail going to help you stand? Yes, it is. There you go. No, oh, Drax, don't fall. Oh no, there goes the camera. There we go. 
Oh, that looks pretty cool. And that's probably, if I had these at home, that's probably how I would display them with group being the tallest in the back. Yeah. I may even take these guys off to the side and put the main guardians more together. Oh, there goes the camera, yeah, camera goes. I mean, Nova and Iron Man are certainly part of the toy series. They are part of the comic book. Nova Corps is in the movie, but not quite in this version. Um, but it's, it's a, makes a nice collection to display. And I've always, always loved the collect and connect, the build a figure type right. concept. Um, I think it's great to, w when you're approaching these prices now of 15 to $20 a figure yeah. to get that extra figure out of it if you, chose, if you chose, choose to buy all of them and put it together. It's, it's just nice and adds some depth to the whole collection. But yeah, I will have these somehow, not sure where. We are working on getting the studio cleaned up as perhaps you can see from some of the... It's not, uh, not perfect. Not yet. tidy, yeah. but we're working on that and... Uh, I like it. So thank you very much, Shane. It's uh, yeah. cool opening these up and having them in the studio. A great idea to try it. Yeah, and uh, let's get back to the, the other cams. So and I'm putting Batman right in the middle there. So, that, again, just for... Yeah, just for fun. Just for fun, we decided to do this uh, 25th anniversary... 25th anniversary. 25th anniversary. 25, 25, 25 years! 25th We're episode 25 of years the World of Toys. Of toys. Uh, I certainly have a lot more toys I, I could open at some point. I'm sure Shane has some things. We could also maybe just yeah. talk some more toys. Just wanted to... Test it out, kick a tire with this new uh, video going on there, and um, that is anything, anything else you wanted to add? Any more recent no, purchases? Um, um, I, I am looking at the near future, and I think I told you this. Um, Lego has the new Jurassic Park series of Legos Jurassic out there. Jurassic World. Jurassic World, sorry, I'm still on park. Jurassic <laughs> World series of Legos out. In one set comes the yes. little clear bubble that in the preview, two of the kids are rolling around sightseeing all the dinosaurs. I want to get that set, or at least that bubble, and turn it into a time bubble for my DC Comic Legos, uh, and try to put together a oh, booster time, or a beetle. Yeah, the time bubble, time sphere, time sphere, <laughs> um, Rip Hunter, Rip Hunter, and all that. Yeah. So that'd be kind of cool to have in the DC side of the world, especially with um, CW's Legends coming up next January. Yes. So yeah, excellent. That's, that's about all I'm looking for. All right. So again, this is another little test run, and we'll. Uh, my credits in the future again for more World of Toys video episodes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let me just play us out with the Cue music. Cue the music. Cue the music. <laughs>